Alrighty guys, what's going on? I didn't think I was actually gonna get a video out today because I'm all the way out near Alice Springs. So we're here for the Fink Desert Race. Uh, you can see I've got a bit of a camping setup and yes, there is a trailer on the back. We'll get to that because I'm out here with the Patriot Campus Crew. Now Justin's racing his trophy truck and the twins are in there side by side. So it's the first time at Fink for me. Pretty excited, a whole lot of horsepower all weekend. There's 500 bikes ripping through as well. We've got a campsite here on a private station where the track actually runs through, so that's pretty awesome. But I thought I'd give a bit of a walk around of the setup. Um, we're actually the first ones here at camp um, because the guys are coming tomorrow, a lot of them are coming on the plane. Um, now, the last thing you saw about Pico, we put the new tray on and I did end the episode on a quick walk around when we get back to the shop, but I rushed off home, whacked the canopy on and didn't get a chance to do that. So just quickly, obviously you guys saw the tray there, but um, I've installed the water level sensor. So I think it was about, I'm gonna get this wrong, probably 60 or 70 liter water tank. I'll write it down below if it's wrong. There's a water filler there. Now we've got some lights on the side here so they can switch on when you're camping. Toolboxes all around are waterproof and central locking as well. So I've just got a bunch of tools in that. In that one, coming down the back, there's just some extra gear. I've got rags and stuff. On the other side, I've got a bunch of recovery gear and stuff. Inside the canopy, you guys have seen that a heap of times. I've just got a whole lot of junk in there. But because I've got the trailer, I've managed to bring a lot more gear. So we'll work around the back to that. Now, before I even get into it, don't get roasting in the comments. This trailer was only lent to me. I haven't gone and bought a trailer. I know for a long time I said I'd never tow anything. And that is still true. But when he said, uh, look, we'll chuck a trailer on the back and give it a shot, I said, why not try these things? So first time I've gone camping with a trailer and already I, I do appreciate them. There's a lot more space. As you'll see, like you've got a full kitchen here. So it's got hot water system as well. So you've got your kitchen, you've got a fridge. All through the side here, you've got heaps of storage. There's its own gas burner. Um, so everything you could ever need. Running around the back, here's where I said you've got a lot more space. So I've actually brought um, my guitar with me, which I normally wouldn't have a chance to bring. This big drawer I've just used as a bit of a pantry, so you can pretty much make anything what you want it to be, but for me, I've used it a bit of food. Come around the side, there's a couple of little storage boxes in there for dirty gear. I've got a compressor in that. This side's sort of the clean side where I've got my clothes, toiletries. In here is actually the hot water system, which is pretty damn flash. This is where you start thinking, oh, hang on, maybe a trailer is a good idea, but you can put these in canopies, but that's hot water for the tap but you can also have a shower as well, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then on the front end here, um, pretty trick stuff going on here. So obviously you've got your Weber, which hangs out the side so you can cook your barbecue stuff. Um, but the actual hitch and everything itself, I did have to add in the Red Arc Tow Pro. We've got some new um, Anderson plug charging. So obviously there's a full, I think it's 300 amp hour of battery on board the trailer, which is pretty awesome. Um, then the Tow Pro takes care of the brakes. Uh, that water tank that we were talking about on the tray, that's back here. So I've got the running water down the back, which I can use for washing up if I don't have the trailer. Um, like I said, more storage boxes on the side. Got all the Max Tracks um, recovery gear in there. So that's their new gear that I'm trying out. Um, this is actually now, because obviously I've got a lot more storage, this is now my office. So if you're watching this now, I would have managed to come on here after, edit the video on my computer, I brought my whole computer from home, go and upload it with a bit of reception in Alice, and that's the full deal. So we're gonna be here for a good week or two, so I brought the, uh, the computer with me, try and get a bit of video editing. We'll see what we come up with. There may be a video, there may not. Oh, the sun. All right, I forgot to mention motor-wise, a couple of things have changed as well. We've got the interchiller installed. Um, which will be a video coming very soon. Uh, we also installed a water methanol injection system, but with the chiller, we found in the tune that that was doing most of the work. And I was chatting to um, Orlando from the uh, Cool Runnings Engineering who does the um, water methanol injection, and they're a lot better for sort of turbo setups. So I'm gonna run that on the 80 and see how we go. Um, but we just had this thing tuned up. Uh, it wasn't like a power tune, it was more of a cleanup. Um, but that video will be coming soon about what happened there with the chiller um, and the difference it made with those intake tents. But it's gone pretty well on this trip. Nothing major has failed. A few things rattle loose here and there, obviously. Um, and some really cold mornings. So trying to keep temperature in the thing. Normally it gets too hot, but I'm running pretty cold, like sort of 80 degrees coolant temps, which is sort of on the downside for that. But other than that, trip-wise, she's held together. Um, now we're into the rougher stuff now that we're in Alice and Fink, we're doing some off-road kind of corrugated roads. So that's where I need to make sure things aren't rubbing um, and falling apart. So just a little check every morning is a good way to make sure that nothing's coming loose and will dramatically ruin your trip. That's basically what you want to look out for. I'm um, sorry there's not a full episode this week, but been under the pump with the 80 series and I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update of what I've been doing and what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of weeks. So keep an eye on my Instagram. There isn't service out here, but I'm gonna try and post as much as I can. And we'll see you guys in the next episode, maybe in a week or two. Um, don't stress, the 80 series is coming. I know you guys are frothing on that. We're trying to get that thing built, but I've got a whole lot of other stuff happening at the same time. Anyway, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.
Hello guys and welcome to Built Not Bought HQ. Make sure to click on the far left to subscribe to the channel. Click down below to see the latest episode if you missed it. And don't forget our merchandise on our website. See you in the next episode.